Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you saw by the title, I'm gonna do that one hour transformation, get ready with me. I look like a crazy mess. My hair is all over the place. I haven't brushed it, it's still wet. I'm still in my PJs. Shout out. So um, we're about to head to Disney. So I literally have exactly 45 minutes. I don't even have an hour to get ready. So I'm not even wearing a watch. So I don't know why I look down on my wrist. But we're going to get started on this. Alrighty. So as usual, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to pick up our hair. Why? Because I don't need it in my face more than it already is. Ready? Alrighty. That looks somewhat presentable for the camera. Now, I am going to start this one. I have my moisturizer on. I've had it on for like 20 minutes already. So it's ready to get in. I'm going to go in with my Smashbox primer water. I love this. It's refreshing. It feels nice on your skin. Do you? Isn't that lovely? Next thing I'm going to be using is I am going to go in with a concealer. I'm going to use Pixi by Petra. The reason why I'm not using my Maybelline as usual is because this one's a little bit brightening. And for some reason, I like that because it goes very good on my white skin. This color, like I said, is cream. As usual, I'm going to go in there with my fingers and spread it out. Make sure underneath my eyes and I bring it upwards towards my temple and a little bit above on my eyelids. I want to make sure I prime those eyelids. Now the makeup look that I'm going for is something very simple but oh my god so I was watching The Bachelor the other day and it was the Women Tell All episode and I died. I love Demi. I think she's awesome. She reminds me a lot like me. She has a big mouth. <sighs> But apart from that, so the makeup she was wearing was a pink makeup and it just looked so, so cute that I was like, I need that. I, I need that in my life because I'm good. I need that. Just, that's just what it is. So I was like, you know what? What's perfect timing then to do it for Disney since I want to get all glammed up anyways. Not too much, you know, but I'm not going to do any water rides anyways. So it's going to be okay. Now, since this video, it's all about the pinkiness. I decided to go in with my Luxie brushes since they're colorful and, well, pink. So I'm gonna go in with those to do my face. As usual, I'm gonna bronze up the skin. I'm not gonna contour, it's, you know, it's, I'm gonna keep this very minimal. So again, my Marc Jacobs, I use this. It's my holy grail, I love it. It makes me happy on the inside. And I am gonna use the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation. Obviously, I don't use this for foundation because, well, who follows the rules nowadays? It's smaller than the brush I usually go in with. Um, I usually go in with a big Morphe um, and Jaclyn Hill collaboration. But I decided to go with this one because, again, I don't want too, too much. I'm going to be under the sun anyways. And I still wanted that glow kind of from within not to look too damn white. Because I, I'm not about that life. <laughs> I don't need that. I actually need to go to the beach, but... It is what it is, it is what it is. So, I'm gonna bronze it a little bit, bronze it a little bit. So now that I'm done with my forehead, as usual, I'm gonna bring it down by my neck, just to kind of bronze that a little too. Not too much, again, I don't wanna go too over the, over the top. Then, for the eyes, like I said, I'm gonna keep this very, very simple. For my transition shade, I'm gonna go into the Tarte Tartlet Palette. This palette is loved. I love every single shade in this palette. It makes me happy. I am, oh, I am gonna go in with um, Caregiver, which is this very nice pink shade, kind of like a baby pink. And I am gonna use that as my transition shade and I am gonna use a Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush. And I am just gonna put that all over. So who else loves The Bachelor? I absolutely love him. I think he's adorable. The fact that he's a virgin is mm, questionable. <laughs> but I absolutely love the show. 
I feel like he did a really good job. I just feel like it's all so fake. Like, it's... Like, I love the emotion and I love the drama and the banging on things to, you know, intervene in somebody else's dates and stuff. But there's just so much drama that just the fakeness just kind of rolls off. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. So, now, once that is all over the lids, I am going to go in with um, MAC The Bling. And it's this very pretty pink color. It's a little bit more. It's a little darker than obviously that baby pink that we first went into. And it has kind of more of a sheen to it. But I really, really like it. Um, as far as the brush, I'm still going to stay with the same brush. This I'm just going to put to darken that outer corner a little bit. But not too much. So I am going in very light handed with this color. Perfect. See, still very, very subtle, very nice. Again, we're going to a date park. We don't need to go too over the top with this look. Uh, to deepen it up just a little bit, because I want a little bit more of a dimension in between the crease, I am going to go in with the 229, which is another tapering brush. And I'm going to go into this cargo color. I want to say I got this either in Ipsy or... Um, What's the other one? Boxy Charm. But it just it has that glow that I'm looking for, that kind of exaggerated pink color. There we go. Again, I am going in a very soft handed with this because this color does tend to or this particular pan it does tend to have very very high pigment so I want to make sure I don't overboard it with the pink just like that oh I love 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 I'm so happy she inspired me to do this I absolutely love it I feel like it's so subtle but yeah, so girly and so cute now for the topper i have mac sweet lust and it's i don't even i don't think it's i don't think the camera will ever give justice it's i don't even know how to describe it because it's so you can't even pick it up it has very subtle sparkles in it and i feel like you need a sparkle if you're going to disney it's already magical enough so I'm going to put that all over the lid very, very gently. Oh, just adds that little extra pop, especially concentrating on the tip. I want to make sure it's all over the lid, but I want to concentrate the most majority of that product in that inner corner. That's also going to be my inner corner highlight. Then I'm going to go in with a brush. And I am going to use this Beauty Project Spray Set and Go Makeup Setting Spray. Because, again, why not? Spray that and then go into the product. Just a little bit, just kind of in the center. All right, you know what? I put it all over the lid. Why not? It's Disney. It's a magical experience that I feel everybody should experience at least twice. In my case, 747 times. But why not? Look at that. Look at how cute that is. <laughs> I'm going to go back with that brush that I used the cargo color in. And I am going to blend out. I didn't add any additional product to this brush. It was just whatever was remaining, just to blend everything out. So cute. I love it. Then I'm going to go in with mascara. I'm going to use, again, sticking with a pink, um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. 
I am going to go ahead and lather it up. And there we go. I am not going to put anything on my bottom lashes. Neither am I going to put color. Again, this is a very daytime appropriate look. I want to make sure that it's just nice. And as you can see, it's a very, very pretty look. Very simple. Very nice. Very pink, but again, very feminine and just simple and pretty. Now I'm going to go do my hair because I am running out of time. <laughs> Alrighty, so we switched locations. As you may have noticed, I am not putting anything on my eyebrows. Like I said in a previous video, I don't really do much ever on my eyebrows. They're pretty nice and thick and I don't really, most of the time, oh my God, I have to pluck them so bad. <gasps> okay, back it up. <laughs> so like I said, I don't really do much for my eyebrows. I am gonna go ahead and flat iron my hair. I use the Numi, 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 something. Um, my husband got this for me years ago. I think I got it when I was graduating with my AA. It's been a long time since then. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use a big fat brush and I'm just gonna iron my hair. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. My makeup is done, my hair is done, I'm only missing the lips. Here is the shirt that I made for Disney, as well as the pants, or shorts, I'm sorry, which are American Eagle, my favorite type of shorts. As far as for the lips, I am gonna go in and use a CoverGirl Melted Toffee. I love it, it's very cute. very nude perfect for the occasion thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you next time bye